We now come to the Chair of the Select Committee, Tom Tugendhat. Thank you very much. I hugely welcome the statement from my right honourable friend, the uh, Foreign Secretary. May I also say I welcome a noticeably different attitude from the opposition front bench as well, standing up to communist tyranny for the first time in a political generation. <laughs> the, what we're also seeing, however, in, in Hong Kong is a very, very different form of government attempting to be imposed on the people there who have rights, as agreed, as my right honourable friend said in the Sino-British Joint Declaration. He's already spoken about working with countries in the Five Eyes community in Japan. May I ask my right honourable friend, what work has he done with African countries, South American countries, Middle Eastern countries, and what work is he looking to do to perhaps ask for a UN special envoy to help protect the rule of law that our nation, and indeed his former career, was so important in guaranteeing, not just in Hong Kong, but around the world. Foreign Secretary. Thank you, Mr Speaker. And can I thank my honourable friend, Chairman of the Select Committee. He makes a range of really important points. He's absolutely right to focus on what is the most effective way to build a groundswell of support uh, for the principled stance that we're taking and opposition to the actions of China where they flout international law. He will also know from his position and his widespread experience, which I pay tribute to, um, that beyond the Five Eyes, the European Union and others, there are a whole range of different opinions on how to engage uh, and deal with China and a range of approaches China takes from inducements to intimidation uh, in order to um, uh, cajole, sway and frankly coerce uh, countries to bend to its will. The approach that we're taking is trying to maximise the largest number of countries around the world, not the usual suspects that China will dismiss as trying to weaken it or try and keep it down, to make the most, uh, make the most powerful statement and ultimately to moderate the actions of China. And unless we can build up that bigger uh, caucus of opinion, he mentioned Africa, South America, we're working with all of those partners, we will be less effective when it comes to facing down what is clearly egregious behaviour in relation to Hong Kong and some of the other matters that he referred to. 